Hey there, what's up? It's me, Rakin, and in this video, I'll show that how you can make a text to image generator by using Telegram. So it's very easy to do. Let me show you that how it really works. So I have to just open my Telegram, and that's the bot I just made. As you can see, I've named it as image generator. And let me just go with the prompt. Only I have to just give a prompt, and it will give it the image based on the prompt. So I'm just going with a aesthetic. I'm just going with an aesthetic. Yeah, that's the prompt of us. I just made it very simple, you know, kind of this thing. So I just said an aesthetic view of jungle with lots of different birds. And if I just send this, and as you can see, that's actually the thing. It will just, you know, run at the back, which is the annotate and agent. So as you can see, that's the image of us. It just given a kind of like less than five seconds. So which is very simple to do. And I can just go as many as possible. Like I can just make realistic images. For example, if I just say, a person catching fish on the river with a boat so yeah again I'm just going with another prompt so that like you can understand everything as you can see that prompt is running on n and after and, and after everything like as you can see that's the realistic images and which is very easy to do and after the video you can actually just do this in very easy and the best thing is like it's free I didn't call it didn't cost any money but obviously there are some limitations because every free thing has some limitations so we are not just doing this for like unlimited times but there are some limitations for this amount or for that amount you can actually just generate. so let's start everything from the beginning so as you can see that's the NIT and workflow of us and which is empty right now so let's start everything from the beginning as like we have to just start everything from the telegram so I have to just add the telegram in here yeah I'm just going with the telegram and we have to just add the on message trigger and as you can see that like I had connected my telegram and in your case it's maybe not connected so if you're not connected with your telegram account I had made a video on that like how you can add telegram with anaten you can go and watch that it will be obviously helpful to you so i'm just adding uh, i'm just going with this account that's it and i'm not just going with anything just triggering on messages that's it so i have to just set up my telegram account again i'm just going with my that telegram account uh, that i just recently made that's the thing i'm just you know kind of like okay so i just recently made that so that's how it just looks like this okay so let me just check this is it actually you know extracting the message or not i'm just going with text workflow and i'm just going with hey yeah as you can see it is you know getting the message if if i show in schema uh, yeah it's already in schema and as you can see that's the text hey it's just getting the message and based on that it will actually just you know generate the uh, image so i know that like you actually just understand that like oh i i know that like i can just get a message but the main thing is like how you can generate the image and for free so for that we are using HTTP module and HTTP request module like obviously like that's the one HTTP request module uh, HTTP request node uh, sorry like for make dot comments module and for the method in here I'm just going with a post and uh, obviously the next thing is like the URL so in here we have to just give the URL that's the thing we're using in here we have to call that URL or uh, by URL actually just the model or whatever AI model obviously we are just using AI model so I can use that for that we are using actually the hugging face in an API you know an API marketplace or kind of this thing and by using that you can actually just get free access for limited times uh, or like you know free tire for like this much amount for some months so we are just going with to hugging face and as you can see there's the hugging face account and if you are just you know kind of like a coding guy you actually just you have a like you know relationship with this kind of tools but if you're not a coder like non-coder person like me I'm, I'm a beginner so you, you will be just understand lots uh, on this uh, so as you can see that like there's the hugging face account and that's will be look like and in your case maybe you're not if you're new you have to just you know create an account just first create an account and it will just look like this and on the search bar we have to just go and search the model so the model name is like for example uh, open AI's model open AI uh, open AI for Omni that's a model and Gemini uh, that's a model Gemini flash 2.0 that's a model so for the image generation there are some specific models and some image generation models those are free in our case we are just using the flux model so that's the model we are using actually uh, which is this one the second one black forest labs flux one snail 
so you have to just go with this and as you can see that's the model and how can you understand that like if the license like apache 2.0 or kind of this thing and there's some you know license names you can just understand that from like if you just search that one website or kind of this thing you can understand that like some license names which are actually just you know uh, shows that this model is actually the free okay so this model is free to use for limited times uh, and how can you actually understand that like how is free times and if i just show that that's the thing interface uses and as you can see like they will just give me for months like it's like 0 0.10 us dollars uh, for every month they will just give me the interface use and in your case it should be the same so if you just you know fulfill this that's enough uh, and I actually I generated tons of images and I, what I just you know what I just understand that it actually just not getting fooled and and I think like this model is kind of free and still is free maybe you are watching this video after some months in, in that case maybe it's gonna happen anything so I can actually just use that it's very easy just going in the you know the url section just copying this and came here again and in here we have to just do something i'm just going with expression and in the expression after this thing http and double slash i have to go and write api then slash interference yeah then after dot then hugging face dot go and after a slash then i have to just write models that's it and then again slash so that's the thing and that's the url and if it's like seems tricky to you i had given the url on the description you can just go and just copy this and directly deploy that on your url section so that's the thing actually api slash interference dot hugging face dot go and slash models and the rest of the things is the name of the model which is we are using in here the black forest labs flux to flex point one snail okay so that's all the things and as you can see it's already done and in here after just going to authentication i'm just going with generate credential type and then the generate oath i'm just going with header oath so in here header oath then header oath so after the header outing so i have to just give and go with the create new credentials so as you can see i just already connected but in your case you will be not connected so i'm just going with create new credentials so in here i have to just give a name the name will be authorization okay like this and the value i'm just going with the expression so that like you can actually understand that what i just write here so i'm just came here again and in here i have to just create an api key so i'm just going with the my account and in the account i'm just going with the access tokens and the access tokens as you can see that like i just created like three tokens already so how you can just create a token so just go with the create new token and in here i've just given name for example i'm just going with an attend test one you know kind of this thing and you have to just go with the right section and just go with the right and that's it and just create token so as you can see that's the token is created i'm just going and copy and i have to just you know before pasting this i have to just write a bearer then space then okay that's it then that's the token i just copied and just paste it in here just space and then before the bearer that's it and that's it just i'm just going with save and yeah that's done and right now we have to just go with the send body i'm not just touching the send query parameters and send headers because these two things are doesn't matter in here i'm just going send body and in the send body section i have to just give a name the name will be inputs and the value and obviously the value will be the text because the text is containing the prompts and the text is under the telegram trigger because the telegram is actually just you know uh, the telegram note actually just containing the message of the user and the message of the user obviously that would be prompt and in this case like i'm not just using any kind of ai models uh, like to just make this as simple as possible if i not just make this also responsive responsive model for, for example it will just talk with you and also it will just generate images it can understand what is prompt it can understand what is not prompt you can actually use between that a ai model that would be good but in my case i'm not just using that i'm just making this direct so that like it will be simple for everyone even who uh, who don't have like much knowledge on these cases so that's all the things and as you can see all's done and i'm just came here again so let me just try with a prompt let's see like is it works or not i'm just going test workflow and i'm just came here again and i have to just give a prompt obviously an image i'm just going with a beautiful flower beautiful rose whatever this uh, for my viewers obviously i want to just give a rose to you everybody a beautiful rose that's the prompt of our image so as you can see that thing is run and i guess all just yeah that's the thing and as you can see that like under the binary section the image is already 
generate it so if I just go and view that guys that's for you so yeah the image is generated very cool but how can you get that image it's very simple to do again I'm just going with another node which is telegram yeah so I'm in the telegram section I'm just going with a send a photo so you can find this in here yeah send a photo message that's the node name connect that okay so already connected everything but in the chat ID I'm going with schema section and in the under the schema you actually just find the chat ID which is like let me show you that how I can actually just yeah under the telegram trigger you can actually just find the chat and in the chat you can actually find the ID so I'm just going and put this in here that's it okay so right now the image of us is in binary code so as you can see that if you don't ever know about like binary codes like sometimes like the image is actually image are actually stored as binary codes so we have to just you know uh, in, in, in this case we have to just give the direct binary code so that like the telegram can understand that's the image and the telegram actually use its own storage to show the binary code as an image and I'm not going deep so I'm just making this as simple as possible we have to have what you have to do you have to just enable this binary file which is very simple and then you have to give the name so in here as you can see that like it's already just in default it's data and you have to see that uh, you have to just go in the binary section and you can have to just you know uh, yeah it's already in a static request so as you can see that what's the name of our image is data so we have to give the same name which is data though it's already just you know in data so in your case maybe it's different so that's why I just deleted that and again written that so that you can actually just got the point that what the name will be otherwise you do not get the binary file so as you can see that that's the says that the name of the input binary field containing the file to be written so the field or the file that containing the image in binary format that's the name will be in here and that's it and let me see and you know test the step and it will be image in here as you can see that's the image how beautiful is it so let me just go again so before that I'm going to save this and I'm just activating this thing oh, okay so I'm activated the thing and again I have to just come here and let me just go with a new prompt whatever just thinking about a boy holding a page where is written subscribe yeah let's see like is it how much time it takes to just you know generate the image as you can see not like this but kind of like it good the last thing I want to say that if you find this video helpful make sure to give a like and subscribe to the channel for more content on AI automation AI agents and business strategies about AI and inshallah you will even get more values in the future and at the last like if you need this template which is this one and if you wanna just you know don't go wanna like kind of like setting up the static request and giving these things I had given the link on the description you can actually just go there and download that template and use that directly only you have to just you know set the credentials and you will just go to go so that's it peace out